Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Where have I brought you today? Well, I've brought you to Liverpool. It's a lovely evening. The sun is just setting there. I'm at a place called the Radisson Blue. Lovely room. And we're going to be having a look around Liverpool again. And uh, yes, I will be meeting up with David Harry, hopefully. And uh, continuing, well, just following up on our feelings on the GoPro Hero 9. And we are recording on the GoPro Hero 9 right now. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so I just had a little bit of a chat with you last night when we just arrived and we had a good meal last night at the uh, hotel. Fantastic evening. But it's the day after and it's the day that we're going to go across the water and we're going to go to Seacombe first. We land at Seacombe and then we're going to walk into New Brighton. We're going to have a nice look around there, me and my lass. And I'm going to have a chat to you about the GoPro Hero 9 as well. And we're going to see some of the sights and sounds of New Brighton. So I don't want you to think this vlog is just about the GoPro Hero 9, but I will say with this forward facing screen, look how I can frame this shot with the liver building there. Amazing. Now, I was going to be meeting up with David Harry, as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, but because of the continued tightening of the restrictions because of the coronavirus, we cannot meet up now. So it's just me and my lass just how I like it. But yeah, it's a shame that I can't meet up with David. But while I'm waiting for the ferry to go across to New Brighton, I'm just gonna go through a few of the specs and uh, different features of the new GoPro Hero 9. I'm so pleased to have it. This forward facing screen is great. All the audio in this vlog is going to be recorded through the GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod and its microphone there. Now the foam wind cover that goes over the microphone of the GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod. I have changed that slightly. I've changed it into a furry wind muff, a full on uh, wind protection. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of that as we go along and I'm hoping that that works well for me so I don't have to wear a lav mic. I have heard that the audio on the GoPro Hero 9 and the 8 Media Mod isn't great. Well, I've got the 8 and it isn't great, but I'm hoping that it's slightly better on the 9. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the audio. We will be experiencing some wind when we get across to uh, New Brighton. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the audio. Is it acceptable? I think it's going to be. So what can you expect from this vlog? Well, I'll be going off topic as usual. When we get over to New Brighton, I'm really looking forward to having a look at that. Uh, we'll definitely be going off topic. So if you're not even interested in the GoPro Hero 9, maybe there's some sights and sounds of Liverpool and the Wirral that you're going to enjoy. Now, the price of the GoPro Hero 9, let's start there. On paper, uh, the camera's bigger, the battery's bigger, the pixel count is bigger, the back screen is bigger. On paper, if this camera delivers, it's an absolute bargain, right? So we've now gone from a 12 megapixel sensor to a 23.6 megapixel sensor on the GoPro Hero 9. That's a big jump, massive jump. Not a good idea, some say, on such a small sensor. Uh, apparently it won't work as good in low light and the GoPros already suffer in low light. So why have they done this? Well, that's a really good question that you ask. Um, when you buy a GoPro, you're not going to be recording in the dark. That would be a really bad choice of camera. So I think they've done it to obviously get better resolution and of course to enable better stabilization in modes like um, horizon leveling. So yes, we are recording in the uh, max video mode and I've got it in 1080p, 24 frames per second. I always record in that. And we've got the super view on, even though I haven't got the max lens on there. I really wish that I'd got that lens when I ordered the camera and the extra battery, uh, but I didn't, and now it's out of stock, but I can't wait to get hold of that. Remember to keep paying attention to the audio of this vlog. Remember we are recording using the GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod with my hacked wind muff around it. We haven't got much wind right now, but I'm sure we're gonna get some over across the water at New Brighton. So yeah, keep an eye on the audio, keep an ear on the audio really. And uh, do let me know in the comments section below what you think of the audio, because uh, for me, I'm really hoping to use the Media Mod all the time. So all this stabilization and extra pixels is all still working with the same chip, the GP1 chip, which is GoPro's own homegrown chip. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying using the GoPro Hero 9. First time using it, first time vlogging. So if you're wanting to get a good idea of uh, what the footage will look like vlogging, 
this vlog is for you because that's exactly what we're going to be doing. It's not really going in depth about the GoPro Hero 9. I'm just out using it as I would. Now I've got to say that the features like the uh, Hyper Smooth and the Horizon leveling are absolutely amazing now. Really enjoying them. I can actually see in the forward facing screen that uh, I'm in slight silhouette. But at least I know that I am. So if I really wanted to, I would turn that way and you'd be able to see me. It's just great to be able to just see that, that alone. Remember the forward facing screen is not a touch screen, so you can't do anything with that. But it, it's a great screen, You've got to say, very easy to read, even with my glasses on, my shades on, which I'm hoping to lose later on. Even with my shades on, um, yeah, I can still see the screen really well. So when you've got a forward facing screen like we have on the GoPro Hero 9 at last, you can do a shot like this where you can see the building behind. So if you've got a creative eye, you, is this a creative shot? <laughs> well, you're getting it anyway. So you can do things like this. So it's really, really good. Now I did mention the uh, max view, the max view lens earlier on, and we are in the max mode, but not with the lens. Uh, I will be getting that lens and I can't wait to uh, have a play around with that. But what that means, if we can remove the uh, lens cover to put on the max lens, it also means, of course, we can uh, replace the lens cover if it gets scratched. And we're really glad to have that feature back. So what do you think of the stabilization with the horizon leveling? I think it's really good. It makes for a really stable picture. Look at this, another creative shot. <laughs> you will let me know if I'm overdoing it with the creativity, won't you? <laughs> Can you overdo it with creativity? So it was a short trip on the ferry there. It's only about 15, 20 minutes to here, where we are at Rock Point or Devil's Nest, as it was called, back in the days of the pirates, when this area was used for smuggling contraband. But it's now, of course, New Brighton. How do the shades look with the, <laughs> with the flat cap? Not a very good look but we've got some cold breeze coming off here and uh, my eyes are streaming so i'm sorry about that i will try and connect with you but uh, yeah the gopro the gopro hero 9 just to let you know we are recording right now with the horizon leveling on i think that's a great feature and i've made my own wind muff and it's a great test for it because we have got quite a strong sea breeze here so uh, i'll show you some pictures along the way of my little uh, wind muff that I've made for the GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod. And that's what we're recording with all the way through this vlog. My eyes have got used to the cold wind. We're getting a bit of a cold wind off the uh, Mersey there. Now, it's a bit of a walk on from uh, Seacombe, but uh, a nice one along the promenade. And New Brighton actually had its own tower, just like Blackpool Tower. And I mean, just like Blackpool Tower, it was built by the same company that built that tower. The New Brighton Tower was actually taller. And that was situated right behind me on this land here. But the tower is now, of course, long gone. It was dismantled and sold to build ships. Unbelievable. It's a real shame that it's not still there. I can imagine it being there though. So we've got a nice view of the docks behind me there. And I can see that because I'm using the forward facing screen of the GoPro Hero 9. Marvellous screen, really glad that we've got that. So how is the uh, wind noise? We've got a nice breeze, quite a strong breeze all the time in this vlog. Remember, I'm using the GoPro Hero 9 media mod and I have modified the wind muff that comes with it. The wind muff that comes with the Hero 9 media mod is pretty good, but it's just foam. And what I've put around it is like a furry dead cat. I, uh, I butchered the uh, Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I butchered that dead cat, and that's about a 60 quid dead cat. Chopped it up just for you guys to show you that it can be done. You can cut down the wind. There's a real wind blowing now. Uh, so I'll be interested to see, you can hear it now. Is it cutting down on the wind? My eyes are streaming, might have to put the shades back on. We've got some lovely sunshine, like I say. Look, we've got the lighthouse, original lighthouse. I wouldn't mind going in there. You can actually get up a little ladder. Well, I don't think you're allowed to, but it'd be pretty cool to go inside there. So great to see the lighthouse over there. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Now behind me, this massive area of water was the New Brighton Boating Lake. And you could, I think it's still in operation today, actually. So you can sort of uh, sail some boats around here. Uh, in the height of the season, I would think. 
the time is getting on the last ferry is half past four it's now about three o'clock and i was hoping to see where the uh, the lido was the massive open air swimming pool and back in the day it was the largest in europe now there's some modern shops on here costas and burger kings just had a coffee over there and i'm wondering whether it was there i'll just give you a bit of a look around someone's going to tell me here so in the comments section below am i anywhere near where the massive lido was the open air swimming pool at new brighton there's the sort of arcades down that way and uh, over this way we've got the where all the coffee shops and restaurants are so am, am i anywhere near where um where the open air swimming pool is. I know it's not there, it was bulldozed in 1990. The bulldozers came in and absolutely uh, flattened it because it was damaged uh, beyond repair. I think it, it, was, it was gonna cost about four million to repair it. A massive storm uh, wrecked the place. So uh, they didn't repair it, they just flattened it. A real shame. So let me know if I'm stood anywhere near where that was. I'll just give you a bit of a look around where I am. Using the forward facing screen on the GoPro Hero 9, I can see that I'm giving you a good look around. Let me know if I'm stood anywhere near where that swimming pool was. Now, I'm glad that I've seen this on the gable end of this house, which is uh, the street art that uh, New Brighton is becoming famous for. I'm hoping to get some images of that for you. So here is one, and I'm looking for a street called Hope Street. Uh, so I'm making my way up here and gonna have a wander around there. The street art is pretty cool. And you can also see that it's been commissioned by a company called Rock Point Leisure. Now they are investing in this area. In fact, it's run by a guy that was born and bred here and he's really passionate about this area. And they are investing in, I think they're, they're buying up the properties and leasing them out to uh, independent businesses. It's very community orientated, all that uh, street art stuff. Uh, local artists, but now there are artists coming from all over the place to show their street art off there as well. And it's good to see, so it was quite a vibrant little area. Now I'm approaching the promenade again and I'm going to be making my way back to the ferry. Arty shop. <laughs> Uh, most of the street art, as you can see, was based on the history of New Brighton. And uh, yeah, very impressive. There was, a, there was a young lad stood by one of them and I got chatting to him and he said that he'd actually painted that one that was stood in front of, the one with the lad with the roller, with the uh, paint roller. <laughs> but I didn't believe him, so I didn't interview him. <laughs> I think he was lying. But if you weren't lying, I'm really sorry if you did actually paint it. But I really don't think you did, did you? <laughs> so that's it for the walk around New Brighton. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've been using the GoPro Hero 9 all the way around with the media mod. All the audio has been done on the media mod with my wind muff hack and we've also had the horizon leveling on love that feature uh, the horizon leveling we've had that on all the way as well we're heading back for the ferry hopefully we'll catch it in time me and my last she's just up there on the promenade so we are back across the water in liverpool the gorgeous liver building behind me i hope you've enjoyed new brighton and the wirral i certainly enjoyed it and i really think that uh, gopro have nailed it this time uh, I can't tell you how easy it is to use the camera with a forward facing screen. So I really think that GoPro are back on top, king of action cameras. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have, give me a like. Consider subscribing, I upload a vlog every month. So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye.